What's good, YouTube? Let's get this money. Y'all already know we getting money, and we getting honey. Y'all see the title of the video? We talk about DraftKings. This is a stock that I talked about many a times, and this is a stock that I told y'all about when it was around forty-five, fifty dollars. I got in this stock around thirty-five dollars. I didn't double my money when it went up to seventy. It dropped down. It says sixty-two dollars and eighty-eight cent right now. I'm still holding it. And it was expected for it to be a little sell-off right here around $70. For them people that got in around $35, you know, they want to take profits. I ain't mad at that. But I'm still holding because I already know this stock go break this. It's going to break this resistance right here. And I'm going to tell y'all what I think the future going to be like for this stock in the next up and coming months. So let's talk about it. So it's the four-hour chart right here. I see we got the support right here at around $58, the resistance, 52-week high at $74.38 right there. And we've been trading in between this little channel right here in between these two support and resistance. Been trading in between this channel for about two months now since February, the beginning of February. Been trading in between this channel. Y'all see we at the bottom of that channel right now. We we just bounced off the support recently, and it's an uptrend. You see it on the RSI, the same trend. On the RSI, we at at we at around 45 on the RSI. So that's around the middle to the to the bottom of the RSI. So that mean that we got some running up to do. So we just had opening day. We still got March Madness going on. The end of March Madness. Y'all already know opening day with baseball just happened. So sports still going on. Sports betting still going on. It's going to be year long. And DraftKings going to be active and gaining money all year round with different sporting events. We ain't just relying. They not just relying on one. So once one season over, the NFL season over, now we got NBA. We got MLB coming out right now. We got March Madness. After March Madness, Baseball go still carry the load. So yeah, let's draw my prediction. It's gonna be short. I ain't gonna make this video too long. We just go get right into the prediction. So the where we ran up about 2.5% last week. So I, I expect this this week starting off April, starting off the month, the first week of the market being open in April. I feel like the market go do good next week, and I feel like Jeff Kings go go right with it. So during the they on Monday, feel like Monday pre market, we might have we might have a little sell off pre market and then shoot straight up slowly during the day. Might go up to around sixty four dollars. Might end the day around sixty four sixty five dollars trading sideways, and then throughout the week we just go trade sideways on a slight uptrend. Might end the week around sixty five sixty six dollars at the end of next week, but during it. During like the end of the month, hey, I could see this stock easily being at seventy dollars by the end of April. So let's go to the end of April, something like that. Oh shoot, <laughs> uh, I need to get better with drawing these lines, man. Let's just say we around, we about up here at the end of April, and then once we get up here, we go test this. We go, we go, we go drop, and then we go test this support. We go test this resistance right here going into May. Now, it depend on what the market do. It depend on the market. If the market is on the green, we, we in the bear market and we going up. Not a bear market, a bull market. We in the bull market, we going up. Be expecting May to be a good month for this stock too. And we might, we go break this resistance right here. Like that. Something like that. Now, that's my short term prediction for the month. Of April and the beginning of May. Now, by the end of the summer, I wouldn't be surprised if this stock around $95 to $100. That's my prediction. End of summer around late July, early August. Be expecting this stock to be around $100. That's my prediction. Do what y'all want with that. If y'all like the video, hit that like button, subscribe, comment what y'all want next. All that, I'm gone.